All right, good afternoon, everyone. In this, the next edition of the ICT Trades Analyze Series, we're going to move through May 4th, 2023, and May 18th, 2023. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. Start with May 4th, 2023, and let's see what he had to say about this. Behind the tape reading, you followed along with in tweets. Okay, so let's see the lay of the land. He's on a two, uh, two screen setup. He's got the E mini S and P 500 15 minute on the left, and E mini S and P 500 one minute on the right. He's currently sitting short six contracts. Execution looks like it came in on a um, red line there. What is that red line? Sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. Uh, that's what I'm going to say. 15-minute chart. Looks like he's betting on that being a uh, bear shorter block. So I'm going to say bear shorter block and then sell set imbalance, buy set inefficiency. Um, he's sitting there on the new day opening gap, and he's looking at sell side liquidity at 40.75 halves and 40.68 three quarters as his drawn liquidity. So you would expect that price trades to 40.75 halves and through. So to it and through it. Remember, guys, to it and through it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So executed um, another short. He's now short nine contracts. Market's drawing down to that sell side liquidity. Interested to see when he puts in. Um... All right. Short it again. Not sure exactly what that entry, entry was. You see that little sibby right there? I'm, I'm betting that's what that was. Okay. It's drawing down to that 40.75 halves, and it should trade to it and through it. To it and through it. Okay. You see how he says initial partial under this level? That's because that's that 40.75 halves. And guys, with sell side liquidity, with Michael's teachings, that sell side liquidity, it should trade to that low and through it, to it and through it. Okay, three contracts are now off. As it came below 40.75.50, contracts are off. Three contracts are off. And let's see if he gets stopped out on the remaining contracts or if it does draw lower. And he's stopped out in the black and going to re-enter at new week opening gap retest. Okay, short again. So short again on that new week opening gap retest very quickly. Drawing back down to sell side liquidity. Six contracts deep. Let's see where. Okay, now he's nine contracts deep and that was on that bearish order block. You see that green candle? Bearish order block. Short again on a retest of the bearish order block. Ten contracts. <clears throat> okay, drawing back down to that sell side. Now notice he's taking contracts off as we come below the low that we just made. So that 4074 low that we just made, he's taking contracts off as it trades to it and through it. To it and through it. Okay. Three contracts enough. So notice that again, every time it makes a low, it should trade to it and through it, and he's taking partials off. So he knows what his ideal scenario is. An ideal scenario is that 40.53 halves, but not every trade is going to be an ideal scenario. So he's taking risk off every time that it attacks that sell side liquidity. More contracts off, right? He's got two contracts remaining. We'll see how the remaining two contracts pan out. Okay, market's coming back, showing some willingness to come back to the buy side. Let's see if we make a new low or if we get stopped out in profit. Probably looking, looking, you know, initially at this, I'd say probably. Yeah, okay, stopped out in profit. You could see that the market made a bullish order block and then another bullish order block and then shot higher and stopped them out in profit. So what you saw there, guys, was... Um, you saw 
attacking the sell side. You saw the, the concept of new day opening gap, new week opening gap draws on liquidity lower. And you saw that price to trade to the sell side and through it. So to it and through it. Okay, guys, and this is going to be uh, May 18th, 2023. Okay, so he's long six contracts here on that bullish order block. Um, he's also mentioning that's an ICT silver bullet. So notice that it's between 1030. Uh, ICT silver bullet should be between 10 and 11. So that first entry there, that six contracts, that's ICT silver bullet, which is a fair value gap that is formed between the hours of 1000 New York local time and 1100 New York local time. And we're on the phone here. So Let's take a let's take a watch. This is going to be okay. Trading up at 4198 quarters. He's long six. Um, looks like he got long on bullish order block and ICT silver bullet. That fair value gap displacement that's formed between 10 and 11. That should go seek buy side or sell side. We want to see price trade to that buy side and through it. So to it and through it. That's what we would like to see. The stop is now going uh, break even. So we are. Uh, managing our risk here and it looks like this is going to be a pretty short one so the market was not moving too quickly at this time we're coming in a New York lunch that ICT silver bullet you see that buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency that fair value gap that's formed there notice that it formed between 1000 and 1100 his execution was at 1058 and then he aimed for that nearest buy side liquidity and then took it off as it went to it through it to it and through it entering in at the market on his concepts attacking that buy side liquidity to it and through it so okay guys this has been an analysis of ICT trades May the 4th 2023 and May the 18th 2023 I hope that this has been insightful for you bye bye